Kevin and Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today we are talking about the Clever Fox Pro Planner, and the Pro Planners happen to be much larger. Clever Fox just released their 2023 dated planners, and so I ended up getting this one to review for you guys. I am an affiliate for them, and I do have a coupon code for you guys, so I will put it right here for you guys, and it will also be in the description box with my affiliate link. So if you like the planner you see today, or if you go to the Clever Fox website and see another planner that you happen to want to snag, that means I get a percentage of the sale, and I really appreciate when you guys use my links for things, because that helps me get more planners and goodness to review for you guys. So I really appreciate that. It will always be in the description box down below for you guys if you want to purchase anything through those links. Now we are talking this one. This is a dated planner and this one's kind of cool because it goes January through January. So if you happen to get a planner from a planner company where you get to pick your start month, you can pick February. I have not seen very many planners give you guys an extra month. So I think that's a really awesome option. Now I did get the bigger size of this, but they do have the dated planners in lots of different varieties. They aren't just all the big giant one. I did review two A5 undated planners from Clever Fox, so I will leave the link to that video down below for you guys. Now, I was really excited about this one because it is rose gold. They did have some of the other planners as a rose gold option as well, but this one's really pretty. I'm going to hop to the unboxing really quick so you guys can see how it came packaged up. And I'll give you a closer look at the actual cover itself. Okay, the dated planner got here. This is the Clever Fox Weekly Pro Dated. It is for 2023, and here it is. It comes in a really cute little package that you could store things in or put it back in. I really like that. It's like that acrylic frosted look. It comes with the planner and it also has a little how-to guide. The other undated weekly also came with a little guide. So it outlines everything. I know I'm going backwards. I wanted you guys to see this page, the table of contents. So it walks through all of the steps. The 12th step is just what's next. So you can see it kind of outlines each step, gives you like a mock-up and it describes what it is. So that is a really nice touch that they include. It is bubble wrap. So we'll go ahead and open it up. I got the rose gold color this time, which is beautiful. And we are going to maybe crack this open because I don't want to mess up the cover or papers. There we go. So I have two of the A5 size from them. And then this one is the eight and a half by 11 size, which is super cute. I thought this would give you a lot of room to write if you need more space for things. So there it says, Clever Fox Planner Pro Dated. It goes through the whole year. There's what it has in it. And then I'm gonna flip through the whole thing with you guys, page by page, and show you guys the whole thing. But I like the size of it. It's nice and um, a soft bound type of book. I did cut myself, so I have a little uh, Blue's Clues Band-Aid, but the rose gold's really pretty. You guys can see it's definitely shiny and it does have a little bit of a texture to it too, like the faux leather does. Very pretty. We're gonna go ahead and take off this piece because that is actually not part of the planner there, but this is the whole planner. It is big, the A5 size planner compared to the eight and a half by 11, quite a bit difference. And I do have a seven by nine here as well that we can compare it to. So here's a seven by nine. So A5 versus seven by nine versus eight and a half by 11. Quite a big jump there. As far as the dimensions go, I just double checked. It is listed as an A4 size or letterhead size. So it is slightly smaller than eight and a half by 11. I think it's eight and a quarter. So either way, it's very, very nice and big. So it is a nice big planner. This happens to be one of those like soft covers. So you can see it is very flexible. And one good thing about that is it means it lays flat really easily on the spine. You do have to train the pages just slightly, but the cover itself is flexible enough that it does flop and um, lay flat at the cover. So you just have to train the pages that'll stick up a little bit, but this is only the second time I've opened the book. I totally sneaked a peek at it earlier, but I never laid it flat. I was just kind of flipping through a little bit, but it lays flat without very much trouble at all. So here's the cover. It does come with three of the ribbons and they are different colors. They are like a light, dusty pink, a maroonish color and a gold, which is pretty. They coordinate really nicely and they coordinate nicely with the cover itself. You can see that. And they are nice and long. They don't quite, um, go much past the corner. You can see like that's a tight squeeze holding it at the actual corner, but you can get pretty dang close. So I would say they are definitely long enough that you're not gonna lose them in the book. So there are those. So walking through this one, this one is another one I really like that is a black and white on the inside. So we are gonna flip page by page here and show you guys the setup. This one has the months dispersed throughout the weekly pages as well, which is nice. So here is 
Here's the front little paper. Here's the place you put all your information on it. It gives you a year to glance for 2023 and 2024 with the holidays at the bottom there, US holidays and observances, and a couple of dot grid spaces if you wanna put some more information down there as well. And then it has this section that I think is really interesting. This was in the other planner too. It has an awareness and self-discovery and daily rituals. So you write in your own information here. You also get a vision board. This is just a blank two page spread here. And then here is your goal setting um, kind of forward planning thing. So it says, what do I want my life to be like across the top of both pages? And then it shows you one year from now, five years, 10 years, and 20 years from now. And it asks you how old you'll be. And then it has their eight categories. So they have their categories divided into eight, like a lot of companies do. They do use a compass assessment with their eight categories. And they're just a little bit different from the other major goal planners that I have talked about. They're a little bit different. So we've got health and wellness, business and career, family and friends, relationship and romance. So this one's more of your like love life. And this is more of every other person in your community. Then finance, personal development, fun and recreation, and spiritual. So you get to answer those questions and forward think up to 20 years from now. And then here is your one year of goals. You have room to do five goals in each category. And I really like this that gives you your top goals. And then it also gives you your why I want it. So it makes sure you're really thinking about why you have the goals because I have learned, especially with working out, I've been working out now for two years, coming up very soon. And I've realized with that, that motivation is gonna come and go, but your why will always be there. So that's what pushes you through those lulls in motivation. You see that why. So I love that they give you room to write a why for every single goal that you're gonna map out for your whole year. And then here you've got your quarterly goals. So this is what you get every three months. You get four of these total in the book. It's your three month goal page and your mind map, which is dot grid. And it gives you room for five goals. And then there's different sections in each one of these rectangle things. It says why I want it right here in this white box. And then this one is awesome. It says reward if achieved. So you definitely can map out your rewards. And since it is only a three month section, it feels like a good place to break down some of your longer term one year goals. If any of these are gonna have multiple steps or they're gonna be something that you're gonna work on throughout the year, it's a great way to be able to break them down in a quarterly fashion on this page. And then you can mind map it out, map out your steps for the three months. I would call it like a 90 day challenge. Basically you could divide it into like three 30 day challenges and divide it down further, but it's a great place to map it out and draw out your steps for the quarter. And then you get your monthly calendars. These are a Sunday start. Now be mindful that you do have to check the planner that you're looking at because some of the Clever Fox planners are Monday starts for their monthly calendar. So just keep that in mind. You will have to like look through if you're looking on their website, make sure that you look and see if you have a Monday start or a Sunday start because it does vary depending on what layout that you pick. So this one happens to be a Sunday start and everything is grayscale. You can see it's very neutral. It's great if you wanna add your own stickers or highlighters or dot pens. I happen to really like these clean color dot pens by Zig. They just make little circles and we'll make a circle in one of the check boxes coming up. But I really like that you add your own color to this. And again, you have to check the actual planner that you're looking at. Some of them do have color and then some of them are grayscale like this one. So it just depends on what planner you pick out. But this one is the grayscale Sunday start. It gives you a little spot for notes. They use very clean looking fonts, which I think are just really aesthetically pleasing. They've got the December calendar and the February calendar. So your before and your after month for each one of these. And then it gives you a place to write your monthly goals, which I think is great. It's a big line section. So you can make, you could probably do like an easily two or three column section in that. And then this one, things I will do to make this month great. And I love this. It has skills and habits to learn. Also, I have a toddler, so I've got a sticker on me, by the way. <laughs> Distractions to avoid, places to go and people to see. And one thing I always wanted to do, which I think is an awesome way to just add a little bit of fun and a little bit of extra into your life. It gives you that spot to really forward plan for the month ahead. And then the boxes themselves are nice and big, and it gives you the holidays on the bottom of the month. So you can see those. And then moving forward to the next one, this is going to be your weekly spread. And again, this is a dated planner, so it's got your days of the week up there and then your numbers down the side. The monthly, the weekly spread happens to be a Monday start and then your holidays are on the little like grade line box up at the top that's the header. And then this is divided out really nice. You could probably do like a two row of to-do list or appointments for the day. And then it has this section here, today's goal up at the top in the gray box and then priorities number one, two, three. So your top three for the day can go there. And I really like the setup. You get a big long strip for every day of the week on here. You can see some holidays popping up. 
And then you also get a weekly dashboard page every week, which is also really nice. And this is where we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and dot pin here. Just dot, check those off as you go with the dot pins. It makes it super easy. Of course, you can color them in with whatever pin you have, or you can just check them or X them, however you wanna do it. But I love the dot pins when they're circle check boxes. And this one happens to be a circle check box book, which, which tickles my fancy. I really like that. So let's walk through all of the um, different sections here. We've got this week's main goal. I'm gonna reward if achieved in the little gray box. This week's priorities, you've got a lot of lines to work on that. And this has a to-do list that's divided into two sections, work to-dos and personal to-dos. And so if you are a stay-at-home mom or something, you might just make it both personal or, you know, this is your family to-do list and your personal to-do list. I happen to be a YouTuber, so this would be my YouTube to-do list versus my personal to-do list. And then lots of room for habits. So each of these boxes has eight lines, so eight habits or eight to-do list items on those ones. And then life balance to-do list. And then I'm excited about three things here. So we'll talk about these. It has health and fitness, family and friends, romance, and relationships, fun and recreation, personal development, and spiritual. And those are a lot of the goal categories on the eight goals that you map out. So you can put a little to-do list thing on there. Most of them are, you know, geared towards more fun type of to-do list things here. And then I'm excited about one, two, three. I love that you're adding in some excitement for the week and really thinking about some of the positives that are coming up. Then you get this big section for dot grid. You can map this out however you want, add it stickers, add titles, add lists, it could be note, paper, whatever you need. And then this is the reflection section of the week, which I think is also a really nice touch. You know, you're not just forward planning, you're also looking back at your week and gaining something from it. Each of these boxes has two lines for each of the numbers. So you get six lines and three numbers listed. So there's this week's wins, lessons learned, and how I will improve next week. I really, really like that aspect of reflection built into every single week. You guys know I'm a big Moxie Life lover, and one of the things I love about them is their reflection page, and this maps it out for you really nicely in this book. It's a great option. So these are the weekly pages you get every week. You get the actual week days and then the dashboard page to map everything out, and you get those. Uh, for all of the weeks until you reach the end of the month and then you get a monthly review and this is very similar to one of the other weekly planners that I had reviewed. This is the monthly review. You get one of these at the end of every month in this planner and you get your compass to look at and you map out, answer all the questions each month and then move on to your next month. So you get your monthly page. We'll walk through. It's the same format for every month. So here's February. You get your weekly pages with the two page on there and then your monthly review again. And then we'll walk through one more here until we get to another quarterly goals page. So here is March. Here are the weekly to-do pages, flipping through your monthly review page. And then you move into three more months of goal planning. So again, you get a three month goal page with the five goals and then your mind map. And then you move into your next month, which happens to be April at this point. And this brings up a good thing. If you have too many weeks, on the thing, it will give you the triangle boxes there. So all of the planner is gonna work the same way. You're gonna jump through all of the same weekly pages, the monthly review page, the uh, month at a glance calendar, and then you're gonna get your weekly pages all the way until you get to another quarterly um, goal page. So there's the quarterly after the month of June. And then you get another one of those actually at the end of September, which I jumped pretty good. I got, <laughs> I got through to September. So there is your monthly review at the end of September, your monthly goal page, and then we're gonna walk through to the end here. We're gonna get to December, your December calendar, all your December weekly pages, your December review, and then you move right into January. So it does not give you like anything additional as far as goal setting and planning after that. So you just get like one month grace period here where you can find your next planner for the year or decide to start a planner in February. If you happen to buy a customizable one like Plum Paper Planner, you can start any month with a Plum Paper Planner. And some other planners are similar. It gives you one month grace period to find your next planner. You get a monthly review for January. And then you move into some dot grid pages here. So you get 10 dot grid pages. That's 20 with the front and back. Also this half. So that's 21 dot grid pages in the back. You get your back little liner cover, your accordion folder, and then also the elastic band, which you can strap around it. I always tuck them in like this. I just don't use them. And then because it's a yearly planner, you get a lot of stickers. So we're gonna walk through these. These are rose gold. You can see the gold foiling on there. So you get some fun little stickers. You get some more functional stickers there. These are birthdays and icons, like 
coffee ones, meal planning ones, travel ones, exercise, lots of different things. Then some more functional ones. These ones would fit in some of the monthly calendar boxes. These ones happen to be too small to fill up like a, a monthly calendar spot in this planner. And then some more, more functional boxes and icons and things, and then some money and bill related ones. So it gives you lots of options for stickers. I like that the pocket holds the stickers. You can use them in here, stick them in, and uh, pull them out whenever you need to. And there you go. This planner happens to be just a really nice planner. These softbound ones don't happen to be tabbed, but I have seen a lot of sticker companies and things make tabs, but I don't tend to use the tabs on these softbound ones. At least I haven't yet, but it is always an option if you want it. I would tend to just like stick one of my, um, I've got a lot of these just magnetic Ollie clips. I use them for my planners and you could definitely do a situation where you could mark your monthly page and your weekly page. Let's say we're like a couple weeks into the month. You could definitely mark it to where you are able to flip to your monthly page and to your weekly page. So you can see both really easily, something like that. And you can always add your own tabs or whatever to whatever page you need to see. But I would tend to probably just do that and then be able to move it from month to month and then not have to worry about tabs or damaging tabs. I don't tend to forward plan a ton, so I wouldn't need to flip to previous tabs very much. But there you go. There is the look at the Pro Dated Planner. I'm super excited about using this one. I've really enjoyed getting the Clever Fox planners and I cannot wait to test them out. They're just really nicely done. They have lots of goal setting and planning in it. It is definitely a structured planner. So you've got all of your titles already set up, but you could totally cover up some of these sections. You don't have to use them as they're intended. So that's just something to note. I tend to really like these structured ones, so I don't have to re-sticker everything. I know a lot of people really like that, but I personally don't. Like I want the planner to tell me what to do to make it just easy. And I would add in a few stickers here and there to add some color to the page or write with a colorful pen and add some highlighter and add some dot pen. But otherwise, you know, I want the, the planner to actually function all on its own without me having to do a whole lot. So I feel like their planners are really nicely set up for that to where you just grab the planner and you can actually start planning. You don't have to repurpose much. So I hope you guys like this look at Clever Fox. Again, I have a coupon code. I'll put the info down here and in the description box. My affiliate link is also in the description box. They have a lot of different layouts. So I definitely recommend checking out the website, looking around. They've got wellness planners, self-care planners. They do have a medical planner if you need a medical planner lots of different options for planning. So I hope you guys really like this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It is planner launch season, so I've got lots more planner videos to talk about, and I will be using this in 2023, and I will do an in-depth review after practical use of this puppy. So I hope you guys have a great day, happy planning, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.